Avoid the lottery of FIFA points. Head over to u 7 bikecom Use the code TVM at checkout for a 5% off. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to the road to glory. Uh, today, I was about to just pick up the 45k pack from the from the SBC store, if that's what you want to call it. Um, because obviously it was there uh, for footies voting. I was going to pick that up. It only had three hours left for me to claim it. And then I saw that there was another pack there. In fact, I'll show you what was there. Um, there's another pack there because currently there's the E-World Cup group stage on the go. And I feel bitterly, uh, not bitterly disappointed, I feel sorry for the people who have to compete in that. You have my sympathies. Um, and then I've noticed that Marky Matchups was there as well. So this episode has taken a turn because uh, there won't be any gameplay. Uh, I've decided we'll do that tomorrow instead. It's just easier. Uh, we'll just do packs today. But another thing... I want to talk about the foot swaps because wow wow we wah did EA do a bit of a madness for the final month of foot swaps. Now I've not looked at these. I know what cards are available but I've not looked at their rating. Okay. So this is going to be a surprise to me and you'll get my reaction. <gasps> 90 rated and by Niang. I mean to be fair. Four star, three star. Only two tokens this as well of course. So I mean you've got. I mean. I, I, I kind of need to maybe work out which players I want to do like reviews on and stuff because I mean now I can. People have been complaining that I'm not doing reviews. Um, oh, you you've stopped doing. You're doing lazy content. You're not doing reviews. Guess what? Yeah, you're not releasing anything for me to review. So it's a little bit difficult. But uh, 99 shot power, four star, three star. Did I say high medium? Very good uh, stats across the board. Composure and reactions are very low, but for a, essentially a free card because it's only two tokens. You get two tokens more or less, uh, for nothing anyway, so, yeah, not bad. Next, 90 Wilfred Zaha, okay, I mean, I'm not a massive fan of the footmas Wilfred Zaha, I don't remember what rating that is, 84, 86 at a push, it might be 84, so this is a big upgrade, it does look like a very good card, decent stamina, strength, aggression's okay, uh, I think he's probably four star. Oh, he's five star skills. Didn't even know. Five star, three star. Hey, I tell you what, this could be one that we pick up then. Would fit into the team for Kem. Not not really that much of a problem. Very, very quick. Very good on the ball. Uh, dribbling and, and all the rest of it is very nice as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, you get a, a rare mega pack for three tokens. And then a whole host of players again here for another three tokens. So um, some lasagna there if you want it. He's uh, four star, three star, high medium. I'm guessing this is uh, just... Are these the ones that are already released, like, but boosted? So, Lasagna, we know, was already there. I feel stupid calling him Lasagna, but that's how you say his name. Um, I guess it's okay. It's not, it's not great, but if you're a fan of Udinese, not had that many special cards this year, why not? Very, very quick as well. I don't think his other card was that quick, but that's insane. I mean, that's a... Yeah, so that's all right. Pretty decent. Um, Adnan Yanazai we had, of course, but not as a 90 rated. That's um, that's decent. It's not great, but it's decent. There's a composure issue there, but everything else about that card is very, very good. Again, only three tokens. You can't really complain. Four for Courtois, 94 rated. I'm pretty sure all of us at this stage have a 94 plus rated goalkeeper in our clubs because they just pop out of team of the season packs like free candy. So I'm not sure many people will want to do this unless you desperately need chemistry which I don't, so I'm going to steer clear of that. Ultimate pack for five tokens is pretty damn good. This is something I'm interested in. This and the next one, and of course, eight tokens for Yusuf Poulsen. <sighs> maybe, maybe. Um, this, though, this I mean, that's an incredible card. The composure aside, that is very, very good. I mean, in front of goal, phenomenal, from distance at least. Short passing, very nice. Ball control, dribbling, agility and balance, all very good. Defensive stats, very well rounded and the physicals are off the chart good so that at the moment is my pick I would say that that's probably the best card so far this guy though back of, of in previous FIFA's was a very nice card to have so let's have a look at this very similar situation to that Renato Sanchez but has better composure doesn't quite have the reactions you could boost those you could get them to what 83 which would be fine he's got better finishing he's got long shots galore he's very quick. That's a good card, and it's going to be an underrated one as well. And that's why it costs six tokens, because it is a very good card. Uh, Manolas, now of Napoli, so, you know, there's an interest there for Napoli fans, I'm sure. Um, in terms of, like, oh, should I pick it up because it's a transfer card? He only moved from Roma, 
it's down the road. You know, you still get the same links. I don't think it's really... Unless you've got Kula Bali, for instance, and you need that link to Kula Bali, I don't think it's really going to make that much of a difference to chemistry. But um, it's a very good card, nonetheless. And then Yusuf Paulson, a guy that has been cheated this year by EA because he should have had a team of the season. Then he should have had a footies, and now they've given him this token card, literally a token card, uh, for August, which, you know, on paper... I've definitely seen better, but we know how meta this card is. Uh, three star, three star, unfortunately, but he is six four, and he's got some insane stats to boot um, across the board. He's good, but he's not as good as some other players out there. Like that Ebra, the flashback Ebra is better than this guy. But this one, he's easier to fit into a team, and I know firsthand how good he is, regardless of three star, three star, and regardless of balance. And a few other things here or there that might not be up to scratch. Long shots, for instance. He's still a very, very good card. He's got the stats in the areas you need them. Jumping, heading, reactions, finishing and pace. And that makes him a very good card. Now, Fabinho, 95 rated. I was weighted because I haven't looked. I didn't know what rating he was. That is ridiculous. And I think that's something we may need to get just to finish the game. Unfortunately, it is going to require nine tokens, which probably is going to require me to play the game. But it's a Liverpool player, and every ounce that I have left of desire to play this game is only going to be geared towards getting a Liverpool player. So I was going to pick up some of the other ones, um, the likes of Zaha uh, and, and such. But I think Fabinho is going to be the one for me. Uh, we are going after Fabinho. 99 composure, 98 reactions. Passing off the charts, finishing's good, shot power's good, pace is decent, defensive stats and physicals are insane. This is the card I'm going for. This is the one I want. So I'm going to go and complete. I mean, that's incredible. I knew he was there, but I didn't know what rating he was. And um, I'm actually a little bit excited to do this now. So we're going to pick up this. I, I mean, I've left these foot swap players for the longest time. Today, Friday, not for me yet, but for you already probably, we will know what the weekly objectives are. I'm kind of hoping for some decent players in there because it looks like I'm going to be playing FIFA this week. Um, I, to be fair, I've had my little break. You know, I've not played that much. I didn't finish rank three, week just gone, because I don't care. We've got enough packs that I'm happy enough to uh, forego one week. And I'm not doing League SBC method anymore either because it's far too expensive now because there just aren't as many packs being opened. There aren't enough people playing the game. So for now, uh, we can generate enough packs just from doing random SBCs. I'll pay to do League SBCs to get the other packs done. Let's get our Welsh player in here. Then we'll go and open some packs, call it a day, and then wait to see what EA do with regards to... Oh, there we go. That's two in one. Welsh and Championship. Boom. Done. Now all we need is players from one club, maximum six. That's not a problem. Rare players, uh, nine. Well, all right. I mean, it's not the easiest of... Um, it's not the easiest of requirements with regards to a foot swap player, but it's it's good enough. What's the chemistry? 75. Doesn't make it easy, does it? Uh, I might just rinse Premier League here. What? You can have... Yeah, max six from one club. That's not a problem. We just need raise. I might just rinse the Premier League, although I already have rinsed the Premier League thinking about it. Maybe I'll rinse the Spanish League or the Italian... Let's do the Italian League instead. I've probably got more Italian League players than I have anything else. Um, there's another one. Uh, we might be able to get away with Premier League and Italian League all in one. We'll use Alberto Moreno, despite the fact that he's not there anymore. That's an Italian League player. That's a Premier League. We'll use him. We're about to open a load of packs anyway, so we'll we'll sort of regenerate all of this anyway. Um, left side, we have a Premier League. We're going to just have a, a real mix in here. Uh, you will use Callum Wilson. I think I've got another English striker in here somewhere. I can use a non-rear for this, actually, thinking about it. Because I've only used one non-rare so far. Mm. Okay, I'm going to use uh, him. And then we'll go and... Well, hang on, see, see what that is. So, exactly nine. Yeah, so I need to use a non-rare uh, somewhere. Chemistry is fine. So I just need to use... An, what, what's the like the rare card that I'd rather not get rid of? This guy, maybe? We'll just use non-rare Stanislas. We'll get some decent chemistry there as well. And there we go. It's done. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I've used a lot of League SBC related cards. But I need to get out of the mindset of I need to keep these because I don't care anymore. Uh, we still have like one and a half, two thousand items in the club. 
so it, it's, not, it's not a big deal. I think I should be fine. Why do they walk out? I should be fine for the next month because uh, we have a lot of coins. We still have Kevin De Bruyne to sell because no one's buying him at any price right now. And hopefully we can go and pack something decent here as well. Still got drafts to play and get packs back from. Uh, let's go into the transfer list very briefly and just um, see if we can list him up again. I just, I, I, I'm very rarely on the account right now. I, oh, that's a point. Uh, my transfer list is almost full, if, if not full. Um, what do we have here? 130,000 coins, which is mental. That's just literally listing for 130. That's 8k cheaper than anyone else. See if I can just put all these players back in the club, because my transfer list is looking pretty damn full right now. Should have done this off camera, and I do apologise, I just didn't even think about it. But we should be able to make enough space that we can open packs and just store things rather than have to quick sell or whatever. A lot of them will go back in the club. I've done a lot of S. I've done about, I don't know, maybe 9, nine or 10 SBCs, maybe even more than that now. So a lot of the players should go back in. There is a way to, like, dump these out of the transfer list and then reassign them and then all of them will go into the club or not. There you go. Only 63 items on the market. I will get round to listing those, I promise. So, uh, packs-wise, uh, there are one or two... Oh, he's gone. He just sold for 130k straight away, by the looks of things. Yeah, there he is. So, someone was waiting for that to come down a little bit lower, by the looks of things. I, f I find it hard to believe that someone just upon chance just went onto the transfer market and saw it and thought yeah that'll do 130,000 coins around 170 cheaper than it should have been but EA screwed me with their SBC so those are my rank 4 division 2 rewards embarrassing let's open these first I say embarrassing I played like one game last week so it's not that bad but um, I'm seeing people get like crazy items left right and center I'm not, I, not that I'm going to be surprised if I don't get anything good because I won't be but um I am, I'm in, I've got a 50k, I've got three 45k packs, I would expect something out of those with 300 special items plus in packs right now. Nothing out of this one, no board or special or gold or anything in that one. That's a bit of a bad pack, but it's, that's a 15k pack as well, which is surprising. Players to store the stock back, to stock the club up with though, definitely welcome. Uh, because, oh, there we go, we can sell that for about 3k. Because I am using a lot lately. Um, just I'll use anything these days. And we'll keep in the high rated cards. And hopefully EA release something decent. Do you know what I would like? I'd like maybe a few. Um, may maybe a. Uh, not, not a ones to watch. But like. They could call it something different. But essentially a promo now. At the maybe 14th of August. When all this footies nonsense finishes. Unless they've got something up their sleeve. What I'd like to see is kind of like a. Almost like a, a a a preview of FIFA 20, like a, a forward look for FIFA 20. They could release like um, ones to watch, essentially, or future or FIFA 20 stars or something. Like they could release a promo, special card design, whatever, and it has all the players that they think are going to do well or going to have been transferred or upgraded or something in FIFA 20. Not all of them, you know, like 20 players or something, just to give us a taste and just to give players that we're not necessarily expecting. Um, or not, don't necessarily have good versions of in FIFA 19 to be boosted in FIFA 20. Um, so here we go then. Yeah, we've got three 45Ks, a small prime, a 50K and a rare Electrum, as well as this 25K pack. So hopefully we can get something decent. A couple of special items here or there would not go amiss. That's for damn sure. We're not going to get one in that pack. That is the quote-unquote worst pack that we have to open today, though. And we still get something all right in it. Rugani's not terrible. You know the drill. We're just going to whack all these on the transfer list. I'm going to open that uh, small prime goal players pack next, and then we'll go through the primes, I think. Or maybe I'll go through the... Maybe I'll get the rare Electrum out of the way. No borders of yet, though. People keep banging on about how good the uh, pack luck is right now. I'm not seeing it. Three rares, all dupes, and I don't have that many cards left. So that tells you all you need to know there. Rare Electrum. We are flying through these. And no walkout in the rare Electrum. No board in the rare Electrum. Well, well, well. Maybe we used up all our luck for the year and EA are now like, do you know what? You are done for the year now. You can just wait until... <sighs> Look at that for, for a name, Ronaldo Vieira. That is one hell of a name for a player. I mean, you know, your parents can't decide. Should we name him after Ronaldo or Patrick Vieira? Ah, both. 
Uh, right, four packs remaining. For for this stage of the game, these are good, all right? Okay, so 345Ks. I want at least two walkouts from these. There's one. Can we get more? Than, that's a team of the season as well. There's only good team of the season left in packs right now. Portugal, centre-back, see me font. Um, I didn't get excited then. I know a lot of you would have expected me to, but I knew it was going to be this guy because I've packed this guy about five times on this account this year. It would have been fitting to finish on Ronaldo, wouldn't it? To get a team of the season Ronaldo, but um, I don't think... I, I had strong feelings when we were doing League SBC method, but uh, it's gone away. Only the one special item. Miranda in there as well, though, which is decent. I imagine he's not that expensive these days. He's about 14, 15k, which isn't too bad. Font is probably going to be around the same, to be honest. Uh, purely for rating, he's around 35, 40,000 coins. Not bad. And we'll put Boateng on the transfer list. I mean, I'm seeing people opening packs and getting like four or five special items. Even if they literally are four or five screen cards, I'd be happy with it. I just want to see a bunch of special items in my pack. This is the third 45k, and we don't get a walkout in that one. Well, I did say it. Oh, we didn't even get a board. Ugh. I mean, I did say I wanted two, two walkouts from these 45Ks. We've got one. Uh, I, I mean, 50K pack, if that doesn't have a walkout in it, I'll be... I'll, I'll, I'll rage. I might not... I'll, I'll put go play Pez and not play FIFA 20 if that doesn't have a walkout in it. Final 45K pack. Can we get two from three? We can. Nice. Do you know what? I love it. And I can't wait to see the FIFA 20 pack animation. I hope it's as good as this one. Ooh. Kazri, is it? Is that his name? It is. Uh, this guy could be up for a pretty decent upgrade in FIFA 20, though. I did an upgrade video earlier today. I didn't put this guy in, but he he should be in there, really. Um, he had a, a pretty damn good season. In fact, I might be able to tell you exactly how well he did. No, I'm not on the not on the correct page. But, oh, Vincent Company as well. Not bad. Um, probably not selling for anything. But, you know, an 88-rated card from a pack six months ago. Would have been big news, wouldn't it? Someone's trying to price fix at this stage of the game at 3125, which is absolutely mental. But uh, Vincent Company in there. I mean, we've got some really nice players now. If, if an SBC comes out of a player that we really fancy, then we can get it done, no problem at all. I'd love them to release the player of the year, Van Dyke. That would be that would be the dream, right? Re-release the player of the year, Van Dyke. I could get that done. Use pretty much everything we have in the club and coins to get it done. Work towards Fabinho. And that's me done for the game. That would literally be the only upgrade that I really need to make. 50k pack though. Van Dyke in here would be sexy. Can we get a walkout? I mean, I'm going to be really angry if I don't get one. Oh my god, I am genuinely annoyed at that. We didn't even get a board. 50k pack. 300 special cards in packs. And I didn't even get a board. Are you drunk? I know I've got no right to be angry at pack luck this year. Especially if we've just got two team of the seasons. But... Come on now, a 50k pack with no special item at this stage of the game is mental. I mean, it's probably harder to do that than it is to get one. But there it is. Um, tomorrow's episode, we will play a game. But uh, I don't know what game or how we're going to do it yet because I might play a few games. I want to get the foot swap tokens because I want to get Fabinho. Nine tokens isn't that difficult, is it? Really? Because that means we're missing out on five tokens. Still got that. Man of the match in there as well. Uh, hello? Oh, only on Premier League. I was very confused then. I was like, where the hell are my cards? Because I knew I had it so. We just packed a couple of others. Uh, don't really want to be putting them on. I mean, that's that's the kind of situation we're in. We've got a couple of Liverpool players there. But, I mean, my bench is so good and my team is so good that even the likes of a 91 or a 93 eat so doesn't come anywhere near the reserves. Um, that's just the stage we're at, you know? Uh, I don't know what... Is, it, is that Vass in my... No, it's not. There we go. So we'll put Vass on for... I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. It's giving me epilepsy. Uh... Yeah, we'll get rid of him, I guess, and just put Vass on there. I mean, that is a colourful, colourful bench and reserves. That's not the team we're going to be playing with either, to be honest. I don't even know why... We've got that selected. That's like literally the last time I played the game. Brad's brother is our main team. There you go. That's our main squad. And then we've obviously got the likes of Richarlison, uh, Alessandrini. I'd like to get Vass on in tomorrow's game if I can. Depends what the re the requirements are for playing. But we'll we'll find that out tomorrow. And in tomorrow's episode, we'll play and try and get some foot swap tokens. 
yeah, a little bit of a purpose to play for the final month, and then we'll be into FIFA 20, and I'm, I'm just itching to get started on FIFA 20 now. But if you have enjoyed that, then do me a favor and smack the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye. Thank you.